Diddy is in some deep waters right now. It looks like the industry has made it its personal mission to expose the rapper for the man he is. Diddy has been accused of murder, abuse, and violence. The whole deal. It started out with people accusing him of ordering a hit on Tupac. And then his ex-girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura, came forward accusing him of years of abuse. But wait, it gets worse. His second ex, Young Miami, is painting a similar picture. And if you thought these two women were lying, well, then Diddy's trustworthy bodyguard, Gene Deal, is here to clear the air. In a tell-all interview, Diddy's bodyguard revealed that the allegations are true. Diddy has a violent side that the public does not know about. I couldn't breathe, and he kept, but he kept hitting me, and I was like pleading to him, like, can you just, can you stop? I can't breathe. According to him, he used to put his hands on Young. Looks like Diddy never changed, even after the entire drama with Cassie. Just what did Diddy's bodyguard say, and how is Diddy reacting to the situation? Welcome back to Celebrity Fix, where we'll be talking about how Diddy's bodyguard revealed solid evidence of how Diddy abused young Miami. But before we give you the deets, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Unless you have been living under a rock, you probably know about the Cassie and Diddy drama. The American model had some concerning things to say about the rapper. She filed a $30 million lawsuit against the rapper for abusing her for years. According to court documents, Diddy sexually assaulted her in her home. He regularly put his hands on her, leaving her with bruises. And then, after these beatings, he'd shower her with gifts and book her hotel rooms so she could recover. It kinda sounds like he didn't want the public to see her with bruised lips and black eyes. That's textbook abuser behavior. It's a little bit of a switch up, a, a total energy change. Yeah. Diddy met Cassie when she was only 19. Meanwhile, he was 37. He signed her to his label, Bad Boy Records. Now at first, it seemed like Diddy saw the potential in Cassie and wanted to put her on the map. But when you think about it, he only did it to trap her in his cycle of abuse. Cassie could never leave Diddy. If she did, she risked losing her career. In fact, word on the street is that whenever Cassie left him, Diddy would call all his contacts in the industry to ask Cassie to come back. We're sure that put Cassie in a tight spot and why it took her this long to break free from his hold. What Diddy did left Cassie with permanent scars. It's the entire reason she filed a lawsuit against him. She couldn't just sit back in silence and watch Diddy repeat the cycle with other women. The R&B singer felt a sense of duty to tell her story to the world and set an example for other women. I'm trying to keep it together. <laughs> You're a brave woman. Thank you, I try. And it looks like she did the right thing, because her choices empowered Young Miami to come forward as well. Diddy and Young first sparked dating rumors in the summer of 2021, but things weren't confirmed until 2022. Fans were treated to countless Instagram stories, vacation photos, and a lot of uncomfortable PDAs. It almost looked like these two loved each other. But like always, we never know what's going on behind closed doors. However, in April 2023, Young confirmed that she and Diddy were no longer together. When asked about her relationship status with Diddy in an interview with The Cut, the City Girls member said that they were still very good friends, but that's not her man. Young's story is very similar to Cassie's, and with Cassie coming forward, she felt like she could share her story with the world as well. It happened when she attended the Billboard Music Awards recently. Coincidentally, Gina decided to show up at the event as well. Now for those of you who don't know, Gina has been Diddy's side piece for a long time. Anyways, after the event, Gina posted a picture of herself on Instagram, and that didn't sit right with Young. She posted that someone needs to give Gina some attention because she is dying for it. And Gina wasn't going to let it fly. She posted a photo of her and Diddy where he's giving her a peck on the cheek and that riled up young bad. She took the drama to Twitter where she said that Gina is nothing but an attention seeker. Young said that the only thing Gina wanted from Diddy was a baby. Meanwhile, Young has a career. She also shamed Gina for crying about Diddy not giving her a baby on Tasha K that one time. Young also spilled some tea about how the breakup went down between the two. Apparently, when Diddy and Gina broke up, Gina got super clingy and Diddy's abusive side kicked in. She also revealed that Gina was pregnant at the time and Diddy forced her to get an abortion. But that's not all. 
Young also said that if she had ever asked Gina to go down on her, Diddy would have loved it. Now we need to take a pause here. If you've read up on Cassie's lawsuit, you'll know that out of the many things that Cassie accused him of, one of the things was human trafficking. He would apparently call male workers to the house and force Cassie to get intimate with them while he sat in a corner and watched. It seems like exactly the kind of thing that Young talked about. And Diddy's bodyguard is backing up the claims as well. In a tell-all interview, Gene revealed that the rapper used to put his hands on his baby mama, Misa Hilton. She, she thought Puff was messing around. I guess like she started talking to the dude from EPMD. He came to see her. And Puff beat up till she got up under the Beat up literally till she tried to run up under the car. Gina said something similar. In one interview, she said that Diddy was a saint during the first few months of the relationship. But later on, he started showing his real colors and that's when she decided to pack her bags. He like stomped on my stomach like really hard and I like took the wind out of my breath. Diddy's bodyguard also spoke of the rapper's abuse against Kim Porter. Apparently, the rapper abused her physically, mentally, and emotionally. Eventually, things reached a point where Kim started fighting back. I think that's probably a great thing to do. You know what I'm saying? To honor the person that you said you love, to honor the woman who <laughs> gave you a scar on your wrist for the rest of your life that you could always look at and, and remember. You know what I'm saying? It's about time someone beats Diddy up. Uh, when they were at, at home at Kim's house on 110th Street, he wanted to, you know, put his hands on her in the wrong way. And Kim took one of those court screws and ripped his wrists up and hit an artery. Diddy's bodyguard also revealed that Young's story is no different. Diddy frequently showered her with expensive gifts, but it's not because he loved her. In fact, he was doing the exact same thing he did with Cassie, beating up a woman and then showering her with expensive gifts later on to hide his abuse. However, like Cassie, Young couldn't leave either. Because Diddy plays a huge role in Young's Carisha Please brand, and that's how Miami makes most of her money. That said, it seems like Diddy has solved his Cassie problem with money. On November 16, 2023, Cassie revealed that she had settled the $30 million lawsuit. She said, I have decided to resolve this matter amicably on terms that I have some level of control. I want to thank my family, fans, and lawyers for their unwavering support. Meanwhile, Diddy said, we have decided to resolve this matter amicably. I wish Cassie and her family all the best. Love. So maybe Diddy won't pay for his crimes. God knows how things will go down with Young. Will she file a lawsuit as well? Will she take Diddy to court? Or settle her matters another way? One thing's for sure, Diddy has a pattern and any woman needs to think twice about getting in bed with him. And that's all for today. What do you think of the situation? Do you think Diddy's bodyguard is telling the truth? Is Diddy really guilty? Will he finally go to jail? Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you next time with more updates from the celebrity world.